Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ReactJS video tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to display records or binding records into a drop-down list in ReactJS. And see here we got the final output, the select element, we got India, USA and Australia, New Zealand. Let's select New Zealand. Now let's select India. Japan. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorial series. You can find those videos in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. How to populate data into a drop down list in ReactJS component. And notice in this Visual Studio, I have created this first iPhone app, ReactJS application. Now first in this application, I will add one ReactJS component in this source folder. Select the source folder, right click the most new file. The file name is react.ddl.js. Now before writing the coding part in this component, first we need to install the select class. So for that go to view, go to terminal and here we got our terminal with a PowerShell. First let's add our project to this folder, first app, after that, after that the command called npm install react hyphen select. And here we got a message updated one package. So this React package, React hyphen select package is installed successfully. And now let's write the coding part in this React DDL JS. First we need to import the React class from the React library. After that, we need to import the select class. Notice here I am adding S is capital here. Select from react select this is the package we have just installed after that let's declare a constant countries i'm creating the array now let's add the data between curly brackets i'm adding the label colon india comma USA, New Zealand, Japan. Just for the demo purpose, I am adding only few countries India, USA, New Zealand, and Japan. And I want to bind these countries into a drop down list. After that, let's declare a function. The function name is react ddl is equals to but in curly brackets this function return I am adding the select element and this select element is coming from this class. Now inside this select we have the call options is equals to we need to add this variable copy that one between curly brackets add that that's it now after that we need to export default my function name color let's save this file save all now to run this component on the browser we need to configure in the index.js open that one notice here in the index.js the react dom render is the default component which is the app.js now instead of displaying this component i want to display my component name is import react 
DDL from React DDL is a path. After that, I'm deleting this app. Now I'm adding my component name, which is the React DDL. This one, React DDL. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now it's time to check the output. Now to start the React.js application, we have a command called npm nudget package manager start enter. And see here we got the final output. The select element we got India, USA, and Australia, New Zealand. Let's select New Zealand. Now let's select India. Japan. That's it. This is how we create the popular data into a drop down list in React.js. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.